Room Tariff. Contents. Room Tariff. Definition. Importance. Room Rate Designation. Variety of Rates. Meal Plans. Room Rate. Plus. Food Package. Room Tariff Card. Definition. Design. Importance. Room Tariff Fixation. Cost-Based Pricing. Market-Based Pricing. What is Tariff? A tax, or duty, to be paid on a particular class of imports, or exports. Noun. Fix the price of, something, according to a tariff. Verb. In this chapter, we are going to study, the second type of tariff. What is hotel room tariff? A tariff is a list of prices. Room tariffs are lower in hotels, outside the city, suburban hotels prices are shown on the tariff board in the hotel reception this is the tariff for the hotel rooms a tariff display room tariff room rate which is the daily rate, charged for the usage of hotel rooms, and services, is among a traveler's basic criteria, for choosing a particular hotel for stay. Price is one of the major elements, involved in the marketing, and positioning of a product, or service. Room Tariff The room tariff of a hotel, must generate sufficient revenue, for the hotel, to give the hotel owner, a fair return on their investment. If tariff is kept low, it may not cover all the expenses. If it is kept high, customers may not like it. The rate of a hotel room is decided by several factors. Factors, affecting room tariff. Cost. Level of services. Competition. Target market. Location. Cost. The total expenditure done in providing services and products to the consumer of the hotel services is the cost of services. The total cost includes fixed cost, material cost, and labor cost. The higher the investment that has been made in a hotel property, the higher would be the room rent. Return on investment ROI. Return on investment, is the ratio, between the net profit, and cost of investment, resulting from an investment of some resource. A high ROI means, the investment's gains, profit, compare favorably, to its cost. If I invest rupees 100 in a bank, and earn an interest of rupees 10, at 10% per annum, my ROI, equal to, 100 divided by 10, equal to, 10. A successful business, should give a higher ROI, than traditional investment methods. Level of services. The level of services, offered by a hotel, determines the room rent, to a large extent. A hotel offering best of services, like spa, gymnasium, banquet halls, specialty restaurants, etc will charge a higher room rent, in comparison to other hotels, offering limited services. Level of service is directly related with labor cost. Five-star hotels, will need more staff, to give personalized services, and will have to spend more on salaries and wages. An example of personalized services, is the concierge. Competition Competition, between similar hotels in the market, also plays an important role, in determining the rack rate of the hotel. Law of Demand and Supply, 
economics, says, that increase in demand increases price, and increase in supply, results in fall in price. The higher the competition, the lower will be the room rate. Similar hotels should have competitive, or comparable rates, or they will fail to attract customers. Competition is won by smartest, not the strongest. Target market The target market also governs the rack rate of a hotel room. Hotels, while selecting their room rates, find out the disposable income of their target segment. Disposable income equal monthly income minus household expenses minus savings. Thus, a budget or limited service hotel quotes lower prices to attract guests with less disposable income and an upmarket hotel quotes higher prices for high spending guests. Target market Location The location of the hotel also plays an important role in deciding the room tariff. Hotels in a city center or business center near places of tourist interest or on scenic locales would have a higher tariff. Cost of buying land in such places is very high. The location and view of the room also determines the room rate. For example, penthouse, lanai etc. Downtown areas in a city are very costly. Hotel, end of day point. An accounting procedure, undertaken at the end of the day, to ensure that all business transactions, from the current day, have been correctly processed. Hotel sells space, room, and time, 24 hours. Different hotels follow different standards for measuring time value and money value of one day. Measuring one unit or day of room sale. Check in, check out basis. 24 hour basis. Night basis. Fixed, check-in check-out time. Most of the hotels follow the fixed check-in check-out system for establishing the end of the day. In this system, a particular time is fixed to mark the end of the day. Generally, it is 12 noon. This means that a day begins in the hotel at 12 noon every day, regardless of the actual check-in time of the guest. The day ends next day, at 12 midday. The major advantage of this system of charging the room rent is, that, the same room can be sold, more than once in a day. 12 noon, or midday. 24 hour basis. In this system of charging room rent, there is no fixed check in check out time. A room is assigned to a guest, for 24 hours from the time of her arrival. This system is generally followed, in transit hotels, and hotels that are located in the vicinity of railway stations, where guests normally stay for few hours. In this system, the hotel does not allow relaxation of time, after the completion of 24 hours of stay. In fixed time system, hotel may relax time, up to 2 hours. 24 hours system, is followed in hotels, where guests stay, only for a short duration. The time starts, when guest checks into the room. Night basis. This system of charging the room rent, is a modification of the 24-hour system. Here, the room rent is charged, on the basis of the number of nights, spent in the hotel room. If a guest does not stay at night, a half-day rent is charged from him. This system, once popular in resorts, is now outdated, and not used much. 
night basis, only counts the number of nights, used by the guest. Room rate designations, or types of tariff. Understanding Rate Design Rack Rate The rack rate is, the full, published room rate, and does not contain any discounts. The rack rate also does not include any taxes or surcharges. It is generally posted on the wall or door of the hotel room itself as the maximum amount the hotel may charge for the room. Rack rate is also called standard rate, legal rate and official rate. Discounted rate. A reduced rate offered to agents or companies giving large amount of bookings, regularly. A discount is also offered during off-season, to attract business. Promotional rate Special rates, less than the standard rate, offered to special groups, and at special events. This is an effort to make hotel popular, in new markets. Package rates a technique used during off-season, to combine more than one product, in one package, and sell at lower price. This technique is also used during peak season, to bundle less popular products, with fast-selling products. Packaging is the idea of reducing profit margins, per item, to generate higher sales volume, and hence, more actual profits. Packaging of different items in one basket. Complementary Compliment A polite expression of praise, or admiration. Hotels give free stay, and food etc. to VIP and CIP clients, celebrities, and their in-house executives. It helps in better public relations. Charging internal employees is of no use. But, hotels maintain accurate records of the money spent in complimentary services and also check its effect on profitability. Free service. Corporate rate. This is a promotional rate to attract the corporate market segment. Corporates are big business houses, like Tata, Reliance, Aditya Birla Group etc. Their marketing, sales, and purchase departments, regularly send executives, to all parts of India, and world. They stay in quality hotels. The corporate rate is, generally, 10-20% to 20 lower, than the rack rate. Seasonal rate During peak season, Hotels do not offer any discount, rather, they may charge a higher room rate, known as the seasonal rate. To attract guests, during low demand periods, hotels offer a discounted rate, known as, the off-season rate. Shoulder period is when the demand is coming down from peak, or, going up to the peak. The rates are medium, during shoulder period. Peak season. Shoulder season, off, or, lean season. Advance purchase rate Even though popular in the airlines industry, the advance purchase rate, 
is a relatively new concept, in the hospitality industry. Hotel gives heavy discounts on room rates, when room bookings are done, much in advance. The advance booking of rooms, guarantees a certain amount of revenue, at a given time, and thus, helps the management in planning a revenue management strategy. When rooms are booked up to a point, say 40 to 50 percent, discounts can be reduced, or removed. Weekday, and, weekend rate. The demand for rooms, in a hotel, may be more, on certain days in a week. Business hotels will be full during weekdays, and, leisure hotels will see more bookings on weekends. Hotels analyze their demand levels, over a period of time, and fix a higher rate, during high demand periods, and a lower room rate, during low demand periods. Day, and, half day rate. The day rate, charged from guests, not staying in the night at a hotel, is lower than the rack rate. For instance, if a guest checks in at 10 a.m., and checks out the same evening, at around 5 p.m., he may be charged, the day rate. Day rate, is just a bit more, than the exact half, of the normal rate. Group rate. Hotels, that frequently accept bookings from groups, can offer reservations, at a specially negotiated rate. This is called a group rate. It is quite rare, that a hotel will accept a group booking, and therefore, offer a reduced group rate, for less than, 5 rooms. Normally, a group should book 10 to 15 rooms, to get any discount. Tour Group Wholesale Rate A tour operator, typically, combines hotel, events, activities and travel products, to create a package holiday. They advertise, and produce brochures, to promote their products, holidays and itineraries. Tour Operator, from Wikipedia A travel agency is a private retailer, or public service, that provides travel and tourism related services, to the public, on behalf of suppliers, such as, activities, airlines, car rentals, cruise lines, hotels, railways, travel insurance, and package tours. Travel Agency, from, Wikipedia. Tour Group Wholesale Rate Tour operators buy hotel rooms, in bulk, for a fixed number of days, every month, for the whole year. They get big discount, for this wholesale buying. They create a package tour, and publicize it, through many channels. Travel agents, then sell these packages, for a commission. This system benefits everyone, including, budget conscious travelers. Thomas Cook is one of the biggest, and world's first, tour operator. IATO, Indian Association of Tour Operators. Travel Agent Rate Travel agent, is a person, whose job is, to arrange travel, for end clients, individuals, groups, corporations, on behalf of suppliers, hotels, airlines, car rentals, cruise lines, railways, travel insurance, package tours. If they book a room, for their client, hotel will pay them a commission, of usually 10%. They may also charge, a service fee, direct from the client. Company Volume Guaranteed Rate, CVGR Company Volume Guaranteed Rate, CVGR A letter is offered by the hotel, to a company, to use the hotel services, at a special discounted rate. This discount is offered because, the company has guaranteed, to give a minimum number of bookings, to the hotel, per year. It is a contract, which the hotel, and company, must honor. Airlines Crew Rate A special discounted rate, offered to employees, of recognized airlines. 
the rate is allowed, only on showing a valid identification card, of the airlines. The discount can be 40 to 60 percent, on best available rates. Generally, booking has to be done, online. Apart from discount on room rate, F&B discount of 10 to 15 percent, is also given. Airport hotels allow this rate, most often, but resorts, may also offer such rates. Most airlines crew, come from hotel management background. Government rate. Officers in government service, are given fixed traveling allowance, according to their rank. Hotels design their rates in such a way, that all the needs of these officers are covered, within their allowance limit. Such a rate is called, government rate. Educational rate. Special rates offered, to students, and teachers, of educational institutes. These rates may be quite less, but, since this is a regular source of income, and also, as part of corporate social responsibility program, hotels agree to accommodate. Membership rate. Hotels run various loyalty programs, for frequent guests, and issue them membership cards, with benefits and points. These points can be used, to book free rooms, later. Discount and points are available, for repeat bookings. Members of politically, and, socially powerful organizations, are also given special rates, to attract other members. Members of influential organizations, like FHRAI, IATA, IATO, UNWTO etc. are offered special rates. FHRAI, Federation of Hotels and Restaurants Associations, of India. UNWTO, United Nations, World Tourism Organization. NASCOM, National Association of Chambers of Commerce. TAFI, Travel Agents Federation of India. Introductory rate. Introductory rates are offered, to anyone and everyone, when a hotel is newly opened. These are very attractive, to make people aware of the property, quickly. Once the flow of business becomes strong, the rates may be increased. Complementary rate. Complementary rates, are mainly offered, for good public relations. Given to ministers, senior IAS, IPS officers, business heads, and celebrities. These rates are strictly controlled, by GM, to prevent misuse. Crib rate. Special rates, applicable to all children, between 5 to 12 years of age. Extra bed may, or may not be given. If the child is an infant, very young, hotel supplies crib bed, for the convenience of the parents. Offered mostly in resorts. Babysitters may also be available, on an hourly payment basis. Package rate. Meeting package. Marriage package. Holiday package. Meal package. Types of packages. Meeting, or, conference package, a combination of the following products, and services, rooms, meeting room or conference hall, food and beverage, audio-visual equipment, local activities, like sightseeing trips, special event for the group, for example, a musical show. A meeting or conference hall. Types of packages, 2. Marriage package, includes the following, marriage venue, outdoor, or indoor, decoration and arrangements, limousine, or a luxury car, 
banquet hall, and reception room, for party, rooms for guests, room for the newlywed couple. Types of Packages, 3. Holiday Package, has the following, travel arrangements, local transport, room, food, activities, excursion trips, special arrangements, anniversary, birthday etc. Types of Packages, 4. Meal Package, Combination of Room, and Three Types of Meals, that is, Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner. There are many types of popular plans. European Plan, Continental Plan, American Plan, Modified American Plan, Bed and Breakfast, or, Bermuda Plan. These plans are covered in another lesson. Room Tariff Fixation Fixing of tariff, is a difficult task for the management. However, if the rate is, too high, guests may not patronize the property. Hence, an accurate, and competitive room rate, is one of the prerequisites, for running a successful hospitality business. Two Methods of Fixing Tariff Cost-Based Method Market-Based Method Room Tariff Fixation Cost-Based Pricing Rule of Thumb Approach Hubbard's Formula Market-Based Pricing As per Competition Market Tolerance Rate Cutting Inclusive and Non-Inclusive Rate Guest Requirement Room Tariff Fixation Methods, is covered in another lesson. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.